Hello everyone, I am going to tell you about this project. The title of this project is Digital Stopwatch. Here we have used 7 segment display, 7 segment decoder, AND gate, counter and the clock. This is a synchronous counter. That means output of this whole circuit is given to input of another circuit. Then output of this circuit is given as an input to this circuit. So this is a synchronous counter we used here. So for this, this is the combinational circuit and it is used as a combinational circuit. As we give clock to this circuit, this will generate the signal clock pulses. Clock pulses are given to this counter. Counter will start counting from 0 to 9. This will count up to 9 because we have used here mod 10 counter. That means 1 0 1 0. 1 0 1 0 that means if both the inputs, this one and this one, if both are high, then here we used AND gate means output will be high. So if both the inputs are high, output will be high and it will be reset. That means this circuit will get reset. Now, so this will count up to 9 through this 7 segment LED display. As 9 is here, then circuit will get be reset. If there is 9, then this circuit will get reset but the clock will be given to this counter and this counter will start counting from 0 to 5 because here we have used mod 6 counter that means 0, 1, 1, 0 if these both inputs are high then output will be high that means if we get here 6 then this circuit will get reset and this decoder will decode the information from this counter and then it will display the numbers so this process is called as fetch. This process is called as decode and this is the execution. And after we get this value 6, then the output of this circuit will be given to this counter because it's asynchronous. So it will start counting from 0 to 9 because here we use same the concept like we have to count from 0 to 9 so here we used mod 10 because here we want to display 59 so here we want 9 so we connect this and this to AND gate and if both the inputs are high then this will get reset and then output of this circuit will given as a clock to another circuit this will count up to 0 to 5 here we want mod 6 because we want to display from 0 to 5. After 5 this circuit we have to reset and give clock to this circuit. So here we have used mod 6 counter. If both the pins are high here we used AND gate. That means if or both the inputs are high then output will be high. And this will get reset because we have connected to this reset pin. So this circuit will get reset at 5 and this circuit will reset at 9. So this whole circuit will reset at 59 then 1 will be added to this counter. This counter will start counting. So let's simulate it. So this is counting in seconds. This is counting in minutes and this is counting in hours. Let's speed up the circuit. This started counting from 0. This will count up to 9. After that, this will get reset because here we have used mod 10 counter. So look, after 9, this circuit got reset and counter will increment by 1. So this counter gets incremented by 1 and this will start counting. After 9, this is getting reset and this is getting incremented by 1. So let's speed up the circuit. This is getting count up to 5. After that, this whole circuit will get reset and this will increment by 1. Now it will start counting in minutes. So 1 minute is completed. After that, 2 minutes are completed. So as it will uh, count up to 9, after that, this will give signal to this. That means this counter will get incremented by 1 and this will count up to 5.
Now look, this is counting up to 9. After 9, this is getting reset. And after 5, means 59, this whole circuit will get reset. And this will implement it by 1. This is the hour. That means 1 hour is completed in the circuit. Now, this will count up to 9. Because we want to count from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then 10, 11 to 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. We want to reset this whole circuit at 24. That means we have to use here mod 23 counter. Mod 23 counter we want to reset. So that's why here we selected the pin of this 2 and the pin of this circuit. That means here if we get 2 and here if we get 4, this will reset at 23. That's why we have to use mod 24 counter. So here we have 20 and we have here we have 4. If we get 24 here means if both these pins are high then this will get reset. That means whole circuit get reset at 23. And we want to count from 0 to 9 because we want to count uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So here we have used mod 10 counter means if this pin if this both pin are high then output will be high and we have to give count to this counter and this counter will count up to 2 because here 0 0 1 0 that means here we have input as a 2 and here we have 4 and if both the inputs are high then whole circuit will get reset so this was about this project thank you